living out where I live and also being the kind of guy that doesn't like to ask people for help, you have to come up with ways to do things on your own. So I'll use my vehicle lift to lift this up and then I'll just drive my truck out and let it down to the ground. And now we can get to the unboxing. So here I am just pulling out the owner's manual. And I'm just pulling out the parts and pieces that go onto the bandsaw once you get it all out. Here's the fence. It's quite the fence. It's really tall and pretty robust. And here's the clamp that holds the fence. Here's the stop that goes on the fence. And the tabletop. Pretty big. Pretty happy with it. And just pulling the styrofoam off to reveal the bandsaw. Cutting the box apart tends to always be helpful in these bigger purchases. And now it's time to give the, our first look at what it looks like. Pretty excited to use this thing. It's going to help out big time in the shop. So now I'm just cutting away the styrofoam. And I went ahead and purchased this mobile base for the bandsaw. It's going to help move it around when I need. That's a pretty cool kit. It's pretty simplistic and works well. I'm just scooting this out so I can put the rubber feet on. And for this mobile base, you end up having to take two of these back off, but the owner manual tells you to use two guys to lift this thing, but Again, I didn't want to ask for help, so I figured out, well, I didn't really figure anything out. I just girded up my loins and made it happen. But this thing is heavy, so really you should use two guys to lift this thing. But where there's a will, there's a way. Now I'm just putting the mobile base on. I like to have most of the stuff in my shop mobile because as you can tell by the vehicle lift I use it quite a bit and it's kind of hard to pull a, a vehicle in here when you have all your shop tools out in the middle but that's where I like to use them so that's where I always put them but here I am carting it over so I can put all the parts and pieces on I'm really excited about the size of this tabletop And they did a good job putting tooling oil to keep it from rusting. So I'm just wiping that off.
and here I am putting the ruler on. And then here's the the rail where the fence goes on and I'm just putting the fence on here. And really this is about as much assembling as you can do for right now. Um, I put the blade on later off camera. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about this guy so stay tuned to see videos of it in use. And if you enjoy the content that I'm putting out and want to see more of it, please consider subscribing. Until the next time, have a good one guys.